Hey everyone, I am here back again to review yet another brand. This brand, Tisserand brand, is recommended by Amy. And just as a little FYI, this brand is no longer associated with Robert Tisserand or Robert Tisserand is no longer associated with this brand. Um, but this is one that he founded many years ago. So let's take a look at the essential oils. So we have pure essential oils and then we have everyday use essential oils, precious essential oils, and then it looks like some blends. So I'm just gonna click here first. I'm not sure why they are distinguishing those, um, but let's take a look at this. I'm gonna zoom in for those of you on mobile. Um, let's see, ingredients. That's where they, we have the botanical name. That's also where they have the botanical name. Details, so let's see, this is expression. So this would be phototoxic. And let's see if that's listed under the safety. Um, so this does look like they are letting you know. Um, wait 12 hours before exposing skin to strong UV light or sunlight. That is true, this is phototoxic. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, this part here appears to be more of a generic warning. Um, I'm going to assume, but we will find out that this is probably listed on all of their essential oils. And this is a kind of a cover your butt sort of precaution um, in case anyone were to hurt themselves by using it internally, um, by not diluting it, etc. Um, this particular essential oil can be used around children of all ages. So this is what makes me think this is probably a generic warning, but I'm glad to see that they have um, the warning here for phototoxicity. That is good to know. And I'm also glad that they do have a safety tab. There are so many brands out there that don't even include safety information at all. So that is good to see. Um, okay, so let's go back up here, aromatherapy. Maybe if I just click on this, they will all be listed. Okay. Alrighty, so we have black pepper, cardamom. Let's see if they flag this one. Carrot seed, essential oil is not safe for use during pregnancy. Again, I do like they have the safety tab. It, it helps me to find exactly where I'm going. Um, so there, this is part of their generic, you know, consult your healthcare professional before using essential oils during pregnancy. Um, this is, this is good. Again, it's a good cover your butt for them on their end. But when we as a consumer are seeing the same generic sort of warnings, um, I don't know about you, but I tend to tune that out. So if I am seeing consult your healthcare professional before using this during pregnancy on everything, I am not going to take that very seriously. Um, this particular essential oil really should be avoided in if you are pregnant. Um, it would be nice if the safety information was more tailored specifically to the essential oil but let's see what they are using for safety information on other ones. Now, cardamom is high in 1,8-cineol, like eucalyptus, like rosemary, and should be avoided around children under the age of 10. And it doesn't look like they're saying that here. They're saying under age 5, which is what they've been saying for all of the essential oils so far. Um, let's see if it's under more details. So it's not, so this safety information, unfortunately, is looking rather generic, which is not helpful for you if you are relying on a company to give you all of the safety information um, along with the benefits. So let's see if eucalyptus, same thing, high in 1.8 cineol, avoided under age 10. I'm not seeing that here. Um... So that's a little bit disappointing. And again, this is not reflective of the quality of the essential oils. I've mentioned this before, and I just want to repeat it as often as possible. Just because they don't have full-blown safety information does not mean the quality of their essential oils is not there. It just means that you need your own um, kind of resource, such as 
essential oil safety files so that you can on your own look up the safety yourself and not have to rely on a brand. Um, that is my book. You can find at ubslibrary.com. Now, I am seeing here for grapefruit. It does say to wait 12 hours before exposing to UV light or sunlight. So they are acknowledging that if you use this, it could potentially have phototoxic reactions. Um, they're not saying though, but it is at a 4% dilution or above. So you want to make sure that you are diluting it to 4% or less to avoid the phototoxic reaction. Lemon also is phototoxic. So let's see if they have that here. Yes, they do. That's good to see. Let's see what other essential oils. Let's kind of skip a little bit around. I know I always start at the beginning alphabetically. Now, ylang, ylang is one that needs to be avoided around children when used topically. Now they can inhale it, but it needs to be diluted a lot to like 0.8%. Um, do not use undiluted on the skin. Okay, so that is again, pre pretty much what they're having on all of their essential oils. So they, they are not very specific on their safety. Now let's take a look at the everyday use essential oils. I don't know why um, they have these in pure, everyday and precious. Not sure, um, not sure why, but let's click on the everyday use and see what's over here. I guess they're just bigger bottles. Okay, so there's only a couple things there. Let's take a look at, these are only two mils. That's really, really small. These must be, yeah, jasmine, neroli rose, sandalwood. Yeah, those are really expensive. Okay, let's take a look at their blends and see how they're doing on formulating their essential oils. Uh, okay, so these are carriers, pure blending of oils. Okay, so those are not blends. Let's see if their roller balls are blends. Yes, okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at their, their sleep blend. See how this is formulated. We have lavender, sandalwood, jasmine. Okay, so this is going to be like fractionated coconut oil. We have lavender, copaiba, cedarwood, cypress, sandalwood, bergamot, jasmine, ylang ylang. So cypress can potentially be a little bit stimulating. That can be good for congestion issues. We do have lavender, we have cedarwood and sandalwood, which are also sens um, sedative. Bergamot is calming and sedative. Um, Copaiba is typically for pain when you use topically, so that's interesting how they have that in this blend. Jasmine and ylang, -ylang are great additions to help you feel calm. Those can be aphrodisiac. So this looks like a good blend. Um, I'm not seeing where they're letting you know what the dilution is. So for example, Jasmine and Ylang Ylang have really low topical maxes, like below 1%. Um, we can assume because they're listed last or near the end that there's probably not too much in there, but we don't know. Um, bergamot being phototoxic, it's phototoxic over a 0.4%. So we don't know how much this blend is diluted. We don't know if they are aware um, of the specific dilutions and topical maxes for these essential oils because they were not listed on the safety profiles. Um, so if they can be contacted and asked, a lot of companies don't like to give away their formulas, even though that's not really what we're asking. We just want to know how much is in here so that we can know if this is safe to use topically. Now for sleep, inhalation is going to be the most effective way for essential oils to help you with sleep anyways. So I would like to know if they have a sleep blend um, that you can purchase and use in a linen spray or in your personal inhaler or to diffuse for a more effective result. So let's take a look at their energy blend and see what they have in here. Again, this is another situation where inhalation is going to be a lot more effective than topical use. 
Now over here they have bergamot listed first, which we just went over a minute ago, really needs to be diluted a lot. So if we assume that the essential oil, and this is not always the case, that's listed first has the highest amount in it. If this is diluted to 50% um, as a whole for the blend, this could be phototoxic. We don't know. Lime is phototoxic at a 0.7%. Orange is not. Um, grapefruit is at 4%. Um, so we don't really know if this is going to be something that um, is going to give you a phototoxic burn. Now, bergamot is actually calming and even sedative for some people. Um, so that's interesting that this is listed first in a blend. That would not be something that I would choose to put in an energy blend because it's calming slash sedative for a lot of people. Um, orange is also calming, um, but grapefruit is good. Lime is good. Coriander is actually very relaxing, but we have cypress and juniper, which can be great for congestion. Um, so I don't know how effective that blend will be for actually promoting energy due to having those calming slash sedative essential oils in them. But let's take a look at their Mind Clear Roller. Again, these are all situations in which inhalation is going to be a lot more effective than topical use. Peppermint is good. That can stimulate the mind. Interestingly, they're including lavender, which is calming for a lot of people. You know, it's it's known for being calming. Um, some people do find that lavender is a stimulant if too much is used, but it's interesting that they do have this in a mind clear blend. Um, black spruce is good. Uh, lemon is a good addition. Lime. Chamomile is calming. Marjoram can be calming. Both of those can be calming slash sedative for some people. So it's interesting that they have that in this blend. I would have just stuck to the peppermint, black spruce, and lemon. Um, maybe some lime if it were me in formulating those blends. So I'm not seeing a whole lot of blends here, but hopefully that information helped. If you have any questions about anything that I've said, if you have questions about any of the blends that I didn't review, please leave those in the comments below. And if you are interested in getting your own safety guide, you can find both of these over at ueoslibrary.com and then you too can assess the safety of the blends or the efficacy of the blends um, for any website that you want to review. So I will be uploading this to YouTube and I will be back on to review another brand for you in a moment.